This film is designed to guide growers applying for funds through the CDFA's SWEEP program on how to use the ARB GHG calculator tool that is a part of the SWEEP project application. For all programs that are funded through the Greenhouse Gas Reduction Fund, or GGRF, that receive cap-and-trade auction proceeds, ARB is required by statute to develop methods for quantifying greenhouse gas emission reductions. Quantification methods are specific to each project type and provide the methodology for estimating greenhouse gas emission reductions from each project. All program quantification methodologies are posted on the ARB website at www.arb.ca.gov slash auction proceeds. From the main site, navigate to the quantification methodologies page. From here, scroll down to the CDFA sweep materials under Clean Energy and Energy Efficiency. There are two relevant links. The first is a narrative document that details the quantification methodology. The second link is titled Sweeps GHG Emission Reduction Calculator and links to an Excel spreadsheet calculator tool. You will need to open both links in order to complete the quantification of the project GHG emission reduction. First, open the PDF document. The PDF document contains background and instructions on the methods for quantifying greenhouse gas emission reductions from SWEEP projects. Please review the document in its entirety prior to submitting GHG emission reduction estimates as part of your SWEEP application. Page 4 of the document lists the main steps, the three main steps to estimate and report the GHG emission reductions from the proposed project. Step 1 is to identify the eligible components of the proposed project. All projects must reduce energy use and reduce water use. Table 1 on page 5 includes a list of project components that may be applicable to your project. Step 2 requires the applicant to gather all the necessary information that will be used to estimate greenhouse gas emissions from the project. Table 2 lists the data, all the data specific to the project component required as inputs to the calculator tool. Step three is to run the ARB calculator tool to estimate the greenhouse gas emission reductions from the project. Once you have completed step two and collected all the relevant data, open the Excel-based calculator tool from the link on the ARB website. Once the tool is open, you will see the Excel spreadsheet contains several tabs along the bottom of the screen. You will be using the README, Inputs, and Summary tab. Additional information on underlying calculations and defaults can be found in the other tabs. If you need clarification on a data field, the last tab, titled Definitions, explains each data field. Begin on the README tab. From here, complete the project identifier and contact information. Next, navigate to the yellow Inputs tab. You'll notice there are multiple input tabs in the spreadsheet. Each input tab corresponds to a single irrigated plot with a dedicated pump. For projects with additional pumps being upgraded or multiple plots, up to five plots, please complete a separate inputs tab for each pump or individual plot. All the plots will automatically sum and the calculator will, will report total GHG emission reductions. On the input tab, select each yellow highlighted box and enter the information indicated. Some fields may have additional information that is visible when selected. For pre-project data, enter the information about the existing pump and fuel use. Pre-project efficiency data is a product of a pump efficiency test. Use the most recent pump test performed to populate the calculator. In the right-hand column, for post-project data, it should be the expected performance of the pump after the project has been implemented. If you are not making adjustments, to the pump, this information will remain the same. If you are replacing with a new pump or motor, please enter the information from the manufacturer in this column. When entering information about system pressure, if the data you have is in PSI and you need to convert to feet of head, please select the green pressure conversion tab to perform a simple conversion equation to calculate pressures in feet. All sweep projects must include measures to reduce on-farm water use. This data is entered in water savings and should match the reported water savings in accordance with CFA's program solicitation. Instructions for the NRCS water savings tool can be found in Appendix C of the quantification methodology document. 
If you select the red heading titled Water Savings NRCS, you can access the link to the NRCS tool. The fuel conversion and renewable energy fields must be completed if you plan to change the type of fuel that is used to power your irrigation pump system or if your project includes installation of renewable energy, such as solar panels. When selecting the new fuel type, you must also select the conversion drop-down to select the change from existing fuel to the new fuel. If for installing, installing renewable energy, simply enter the rated capacity of the equipment you will install. If your project includes one, more than one pump or irrigation plot, please repeat the process described on each individual plot in the additional inputs tab. When finished entering data, click on the red summary tab. Here you can review your results. This tab will show GHG emission reductions from the proposed project. Once finished, please save an electronic copy of the calculator to submit with the sweep application. Please use the file naming convention of the FAST ID underscore project name not to exceed 20 characters. All inputs must be substantiated in the documentation provided to CDFA. Please include copies of documentation used to complete this quantification methodology when submitting your application to CDFA.